in terms of like uh, mid-range vo like vocal stuff, talking, it just is like really clear. <laughs> So this is a Tapio Eye Pro from uh, Ultimia or Ultimea, say it however you like, which is a really good looking, compact, but not too compact, uh, budget soundbar, which has uh, more features than I expected. It looks good, right? I think it looks really good. I think it looks like a nice quality unit. It's got a nice finish on it. You can see the controls down the end there logo as the light comes across you'll see some of those drivers in there shining through and then around the back we've got all the plugs and points so this is a uh, kind of max output of 60 watts which is plenty for a smaller soundbar depending on what kind of room you're trying to fill um, but i'd say if you're trying to fill a big room then this will certainly throw vocals and smack you in the face, but might not fill out the rest of the room with the kind of um, sound experience that you want. So this is really targeted at a very specific audience, which I'll go into in a minute. Let's have a little talk about the specs and the features and things um, so that you guys have a really good idea of, of what this is like. So it has, in theory, two drivers and two tweeters, although they look quite similar. So depending on how the crossover is working in there, I think it's gonna be possibly, uh, you know, pushing through mid-range and through tweeters. And there's a couple of vented ports at the very end there to help with the bass response of the unit. On the back, you've got, obviously you've got your foot here, your feet, your feetsies, so that can sit on your, um, on your media uh, console, or you can mount it with the two screw holes here, and it comes with the screws and the masonry bits. And then you've got multiple inputs here, which I was really impressed at. I mean, seriously, look at the price of this thing. It's like, that's good value for money. So you've got HDMI, you've got um, an audio, an optical audio uh, input here. You've got USB, you've got a 3.5 mil jack plug, and you've got the power. So I'll just hold it up so you can see all of those plenty of options. Now, on the back also, they even give you a little bit of a diagram to say, hey guys, this is how we think you should plug this thing in. It has, um, you know, it says the best, then use HDMI. Um, good is uh, use the optical cable, and you know, good enough is use the RCA cable. Now, surprisingly, for the price, it comes with an optical cable, which I was most impressed with. It also comes with a stereo RCA to single stereo 3.5 mil jack plug. It comes with a little sticker of how to do things and how not to do things. It comes with the screws and the masonry connectors there if you need to um, drill it into a concrete wall or anything to mount it. So you've got everything there except the HDMI cable. And you know, for the price, I think that's fair. You know, you can't expect too much. The way that you set it up when you get it into your TV is that you go into your TV menu settings and this has arc built into it, which means that your TV can um, use the connection through the HDMI to control the soundbar. So if you go into your TV settings and you say audio out, use say HDMI one. If the HDMI one on your TV has arc written to it, and you plug the HDMI into the back of this. When you turn on TV or a video, the TV will say, right, I'm gonna send the audio signal down HDMI one, which this will recognize and power up and automatically kick into gear for you. So it's a simpler way of setting up, that was badly explained, but hopefully you get the point of that. It's a simpler way of setting up your audio visual. So instead of having to set your output settings to 3.5 or optical, HDMI will, will just turn on and off with the unit itself which is great. Now, down the end here, you've got all the controls that you need to control it, keeping in mind that it's also used for audio if you want it. And we'll go through the uh, different settings. So you've got, um, you know, volume, up and down, um, skip, you've got um, play, pause, and you've got kind of power and mode. The other thing you get with it is a remote control, which is uh, pretty cool. And now with the remote control, 
you can control the modes and everything else about the Tapio i Pro. So you can change from um, the ARC input to Bluetooth and then it will say pairing mode. You can connect your phone and then you can just use this as an audio speaker uh, in your flat, in your house, in your room, wherever you've got it. Um, you can also switch to the optical input or the auxiliary input. Now with the remote as well, you can also change um, some basic EQ settings um, on the unit like dynamic hi-fi and 3D sound settings, music, movie, and news and game. Now, for me personally, music was the best mode across all of them for everything. And then you can adjust the bass and you can turn the LED off. So when this unit is on, there is uh, an LED display light in the front of the unit here, which shines through in a nice green. And have a look at the HD photos on the website to see that you know, more accurately um, because it's all on there. So let's have a quick hands-on demo of this. So I've, I've plugged it in. You can see now that little LED light in the background there. Now again, you can turn that off with the remote if it's bugging you. And we'll power it on by hitting the power button. And that's gonna go green, two dots, and it's gonna go into arc mode because that's what I last used it on. Now, if we go into pairing mode, should I get my phone? We can pair it and I can play a little bit of music for you. Uh, but you know, don't judge it from this microphone because uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, I'll go into pairing mode. Here we go. And it'll change to BT. Pairing. Connected. Which is quite loud. Oh, connected. Because I've already connected it. Wow, fancy that. Technology is amazing. I don't know what to play. Um, let's, uh, I might turn it down a little bit. I don't know what I'm playing. I just hit the first thing on Spotify. It's gonna drop. So, you know, there's some, there's some depth there. Yeah, some good, you know, that's actually a little bit better than what the TV was pumping out. And it depends what you put through it as well. Well, that's probably enough of that or I'll get in trouble uh, for copyright with uh, YouTube. Uh, so yeah, and then you click it again, you'll go into uh, optical, uh, that's Bluetooth. Uh, then we go into OPT for optical. And then it goes to uh, auxiliary and then back to arc. So that is the quick demo. Now, if you're wondering about how big this thing is, you can measure it out at home. It's about 21 and a half uh, inches long, uh, which if you're in a metric system is about 55 centimeters. Uh, it's um, about, you know, almost a couple of school rulers long. And uh, in terms of uh, depth and width, I'll put the specs on the full review as well, or you can just look it up on the, on the website. It's not as big or as long as some premium sound bars get. But I don't think that's the point of this unit. This is an affordable unit that's designed for certain people. And this is who I think this sound bar is gonna suit then I have a little talk about the sound quality and what you can expect from that. So this soundbar would suit anybody that, that is A, on a budget, like for sub, like probably 80 bucks, you're gonna pick this up and it's gonna give you a soundbar and a Bluetooth speaker for your house that will connect and give you a remote and an optical cable and an RCA cable and connectors. People are on a budget, yeah. Now, if you wanted something in your room, um, just to like elevate a television that you have, say, in your bedroom, Perfect, it's quite a small form factor. It would sit nicely under the TV where you're, if you've got it, that'd be great as well. Or maybe you're in flat and you just kind of want, um, you know, especially if you're a student and not only are you on a budget, but you just want something in the house that is gonna be too expensive, that's gonna elevate your listening experience, give you a Bluetooth speaker you can listen to at the same time. And maybe you don't wanna fork out the cost for like a, a UE boom or something for audio. And this would be like an all round kind of winner. For me here, here in the studio, obviously I've got this um, uh, 55 inch TV. We've got the Xbox. Um, I already have a hi-fi system down here, but the, you know, TV speakers, oh my gosh, I just, I just hate them. I do, I really, I mean, once you've listened to TV through a decent sound source and then you switch back to TV, it's just like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. Um, so down at this end, at the other end of the house, of course, we've got a, a 5.1.2 system down here. This is gonna just you know, lift it a little bit. And mostly it's the kids that hang out down here and do um, gaming or have you know, friends over to watch movies and things. 
this is, you know, this is definitely perfect for that. So, sound quality, how does it sound? Well, it's a funny one. It's loud, like you turn it on and I haven't, I haven't got it really over 10 and I went up to over 30 just to see how it perform at, at like sort of more peak outputs. Probably just a little bit screechy and painful up that high. Um, but I generally keep it around nine, eight or nine. And this is, you know, this is quite a large room. So it's definitely very directional. I think those, it's a, it's a two channel unit. As I said, with a max 60 watts output, it's got two drivers and two tweeters. One is obviously the, uh, the 2.25 inch. And so they do push out a lot of sound. In terms of like uh, mid-range, vo like vocal stuff, talking, it just is like really clear. You know, it, you won't be thinking people are mumbling. It's very, very clear. You can absolutely pick up that whole mid vocal range really perfectly. In terms of bottom end, I think I was kind of hoping for a little bit more when I saw kind of like the two the two vent ports there and I saw the drivers, I thought, okay, 2.25 inch. These could, these could pump out some bottom end, but you do have the bass control on the remote. So I've cranked it up to five, which is the, the highest you can get it. If you could somehow pair it with a sub, I think it would be, you know, the perfect little unit. If you get a budget sub and somehow um, pair it to that, then that would be a great solution. I'm not entirely sure how you'd wire that up. And and the the treble is, you know, the treble. You don't need to turn the treble up at all. The treble's fine. So treble and mids are are, are great. It's the bottom end, and and it is there, but it's not it's not as full. But again, it is a small unit. There's not you know, that much air that they can move in there. Um, so uh, that's why I come back to, you know, for the price and for the situations that you're going to be using this in, um, adding that dynamic range to the vocals and talking in um, shows while still having a bit of, bit of fullness around it and some top in there to kind of sweeten it up is, is pretty good. So I'm really uh, kind of especially impressed with the build quality as well. Um, so volume, build quality, nice vocal range. Uh, it, this would also be a great gift for anyone elderly in your family that has a bit of difficulty hearing the TV because it is so directional and it is so strong in that mid-range, it'll make a great um, gift for them to enhance their TV experience. So that's kind of it. That's the Tapio Eye Pro from uh, Altimia. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, fire them in the comments below. Check out the review for the HD photos and a little bit more blah, blah, blah from me. If uh, it was helpful, do the old clicks and buttons around here um, to make things cool uh, for me, um, you know. I just like doing this stuff. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.